how we doing y'all small property update here getting in some food plots wanted to show you what i used to get this food plot done um, i don't have a tiller i don't have a kubota tractor yet um, but i pretty much did this with a couple of tools this here's you. the groundhog max you can put this on the back of just about any four-wheeler um, i've got a pretty small four-wheeler polaris magnum 500 i picked up used um, got a really good deal on her and they make a little kit that you can mount on the underneath that allows that hitch to feed into the bottom another tool i really like to use when i'm putting in food plots is a drag um, levels the ground out once you get your seed down it allows you to kind of work your seed into the plot so um something that uh my dad built a while back but i've seen folks have these for sale on the side of the road or you can pick one up from facebook marketplace is this drag i love this drag because it's adjustable you can move it about you'll notice that this is just railroad spikes um welded to some u-bar um, you'll probably notice this from a couple of my other videos um, but that's all that i did to get this done um, the grass was as tall as that grass right there and then this is what it turned into so it's going to work up into a nice little plot here um, going to put down 10 pounds of seed probably a little bit overkill for a plot this size but more more is better than less is, so that's pretty much what i use um with the groundhog max if you go in circles it really works well but one thing that i've noticed that it doesn't really work well is how do you get that center so i've deployed another tool over the last couple years and this one really gives me headaches but it works really well this is the mantis gx25 um, i'll use this to work up the center where that plow doesn't really get into um, the Groundhog Max works good when you're turning, when you're going fast, but that's hard to do when you're working um, when you're working from the from the outside in. So um, this really helps to get it. This is the seed I'm using this year to plant this plot. It's got turnips in there, um, purple top turnips, dwarf Essex uh, rapeseed, um, turnip forage, torpedo dakin radish. And then some hybrid uh, forage brassicas. It's about 40 bucks for this 10 pound bag. One thing I like about this is it's not just a bunch of grass seed. You get throw and grow or something, you know, you're getting a lot of grass seed in there. If I wanted to plant grass, I'd buy a 50 pound bag of grass seed. So I'm gonna hand spread this out here, work this over with the drag one more time, and then we'll be done.